well, I don't think we're going to be fishing this weekend. Um, so my session this week, I'm going to do about the local tackle shops. And uh, whoop. yeah, a bit rough out there today. Certainly won't be going out on the boat. Whatever happens, there's a there's a vague chance that um, tomorrow evening we'll get a wind over a couple of hours. Um, we go fish down at Langley, but. Um, as I say, I think at the moment the plan will be is I'm going to do a, a video um, episode about local fishing tackle shops uh, and then that will be it this week, I'm afraid. Uh, the forecast for the rest of the week or during the week is very windy, very, very windy. I think it's ending up at 70 mile an hour winds, so it's going to be too rough. Fishing in the UK, eh? But the days are getting longer. So this is Tools and Tackle, it's in the heart of the town in New Haven. Um, great shop, uh, um, great window di display of uh, the fish that you're likely to catch in New Haven, I don't think. Um, opening times, there you go. And big sale on at the moment. Okay, great. So not only do they do tackle, but they do tools as well. So if you need some hardware, it's a good place to come. Um, Swinch Pro rulers. I'll get one of those really. Um, and plenty of tackle. And a gallery of local fishermen and their catches. Line, hooks, selection of hooks, floats, more line, <coughs> selection of weights. As I say, they've got a sale on at the moment, so it's a good time to come and buy. Lots of bait, you can do fresh bait? Yes. Yeah, uh, lots of frozen bait as well. Plenty of lures. Plenty of lures. Oh, in fact, I need to come in my checkbook in my hand or, and buy some of these lures because that's going to be the next task this year. Get some bass. So lots of uh, terminal tackle. Yeah, I'll put the uh, the address up on the uh, in the notes on the on the video um, and the telephone number and everything will appear there as well. This is Sam. She runs the shop. Um, and her partner Colin yeah. yep. Colin actually has a boat in our boat yard as well so so live baits um, what sort of baits can you do you have rag most of the time uh, lug is a bit of a problem at the moment yeah I think everyone's having problems getting a lug at the moment it's sort of across the board yeah but obviously when I can get it I do get it yeah um, peeler crabs yeah when the time yeah when it's time for them which few more months yet 
Yeah. Do people need to phone up and order order yes. bait? Yeah. yeah. Ideally, yes. Yeah. All right. Well, as I say, I'll put the phone number up on on the screen there, um, so that people can do know what to do. And you have got a good selection of, of uh, frozen yeah, baits. Yeah, I mean, there's some that I haven't got at the moment, but it's to do with the time of year and when they can get them. For example, yeah, sand it's, hills, it's. I haven't got any at the moment. All right. So you do pike bait as well, yes, pike, I pike do, baits. Yeah. Right, but you, you don't do a great deal of course tackle, do you? Got a little bit of freshwater baits and products. All right, in that okay, corner. so a few a few bits and bobs here. Okay, cool. And tools and tackle operate or uh, on behalf of the uh, Angling National Line Recycling Scheme, um, a receptacle for disused line. So if you've got a line you want to get rid of, uh, take it into uh, Tools and Tackle and they'll get rid of it. Right, so here we are, we're at the Peacehaven Angler uh, on the South Coast Road in uh, Peacehaven. Um, Established shop, been here 60 years, uh, and a bit of an Aladdin's cave, which we'll see when we go and have a little wander in there in a minute. Uh, John, the guy who runs the shop, um, very helpful, uh, and as I say, it's an Aladdin's cave, and I'll guarantee that somewhere in the shop you'll have what you want. Busy road, as you can see, uh, but the beauty of this shop is that he's got parking spaces at the back so you can always get a parking space can't get across the road without getting killed right so i'm in the, the peacehaven angler in peacehaven um, this is a very well established shop it's been here 60 years um, it's open every day of the week um, 8 to 5 30 most days and sunday mornings as well um, stocks fresh bait frozen bait um, because of the length of time this shop's been here, there's probably, he's got everything you want. He will have one somewhere, tucked away somewhere. If, if you need something, a line or a particular type of swivel or a hook, he's probably got it here. Um, I'll put the, the details of the address and the telephone number up on the screen in a minute. Um, so if you've got any queries, give John, who's the proprietor of the shop, a call, uh, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. I'll have a little wander around the shop now. He does sea fishing and he does course tackle as well. Um, yeah, and, and it's on a busy main road, but he has the beauty, he's got some parking at the back, so you've always got a parking space, which is very handy. Okay, so, let's have a wander around the shop. So, you can see the course tackle, which I know nothing about, so I'm not going to comment upon it. Um, rods. As you can see, the shop is an Aladdin's cave. Um, end tackle, swivels, course hooks. Um, Nash. 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 Oh, he's a stocker of Nash equipment. Um, yeah, John. John doesn't want to appear on the video, and I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> um, carp, float and feeder specialist quiver, uh, float rods, plenty of boat rods. Um, sorry. High carbon rods. High carbon rods. Um, yeah, so as I say, the shop is an Aladdin's cave. This is a short shop, personally, I love, because you know that you can search around and you'll see something you can't find anywhere else. And that is always good news. Lots, lots of Rapalas. Lots of Rapalas, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, good selection of Rapala lures. Um, certainly, myself and the Eastbourne fishermen, we're gonna do some lure fishing this year. Uh, maybe out on a kayak, off the beach, off my boat. Um, and off the shore. Yeah, so good selection of Rapalas, always good to know. Come and see these things. And remember what we've been saying, before you buy online, come and check your local shop out. Because if they, if they haven't got it, they probably can get it. Uh, or they can certainly give you some advice. Because if we don't use our local shops, as I've said a number of times, we're gonna lose them. And then you won't, where are you gonna go and get your fresh bait? Where are you going to get that bit of knowledge? Good selection of reels. 
Okay, John, thanks very much. So, here we are, Angler's Den in Pevensey. Another one of our um, top sea fishing shops. He also sells course as well. Um, we'll have a little wander around inside the shop and have a word with Glyn, the proprietor. Um, but yeah, good shop. Open seven days a week from 7.30am. Just going to do a quick vlog on, uh, on we're down at the Angler's Den in Pevensey. This is Glyn, he's the uh, uh, proprietor. Oh, yeah. uh, and um, I'll put the details on how to contact the shop, contact Glyn. He's a very helpful guy and also a very busy guy, so we're not going to take much of his time. And I'll have a little wonder around the and do some shots and some shots on the side. Okay. Um, the, the, the message that I'm trying to put out on here is use your local tackle shops. Don't If you're going to buy online, go in the shop first. Because at the end of the day, if you don't use them, we're going to lose them. So that's the message. So, thanks very much, mate. Um, Angler's Den, a fantastic shop. Loads of equipment, loads of tackle, coarse and um, sea. Um, Good for your fresh bait. Can you do fresh bait? We yeah. do, yeah. yeah. We do fresh bait uh, for sea and we also do all the pipe baits as well. Oh, okay. Frozen, we've got frozen bait. Frozen bait. Um, obviously, uh, boilies and if you frozen boilies as well. So oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, right, fantastic. Baits, yeah. yeah, fantastic. You got black lug in now? We have, yeah, we've got lug in today. A bit of a struggle. Yeah. Um, but when we struggle to get the fresh bait in, we also supplement it. We, we get deliveries every week of uh, ragworm and blowgun. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah. we can also get some Welsh black. It's yeah. expensive and it's very popular. Yeah. Um, we're looking at that as a milk cat. I must admit, I'd, I'd never tried that Welsh lug, and then I saw someone had, had, a, had a wrap of it on the beach and thought, oh, the other size of those worms. Uh, it's big stuff. But yeah. it does work. I mean, we tend yeah. to people tell, say to people, use it sparingly. Yeah. Tend to treat one pack as, as like 20 lug, because yeah. uh, cut it in half, um, yeah. and then um, nip it off with a bit of elastic cotton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it works really well, you know. So yeah. um, it does work, certainly for the flatting. We're just about to come into the yeah. flatty time now. The place is starting to show and, and yeah. the dabs, and they, they seem to like it. So, right. You know. It's something yeah. when we when we struggle to get our own local bait, it's uh, it's a nice fallback. Yeah, so so I mean it's something I'm going to certainly try. I'm not I'm, I'm not going out fishing this week because the weather's not so good. No. But, um, what's what what do you specialise? What what have you got that nobody else has got? Well, we specialise probably, I suppose. I wouldn't say no one else has got them, but one of our specialists specialises is um, uh, we do the Conti rods, long rods. We've been into it for oh, okay. quite a long time. Yeah. Probably 15 or so years we've been doing that um, and so we, we do a keep a very sort of big range of those and yeah we use them all ourselves we've been uh, so, so we're, we're probably quite specialists at that yeah I, mean, I must admit I've I've gone down the continental rod route now I'm, I'm amazing aren't they they, yeah, they yeah. are amazing I mean they are really and they, we, we've noticed as well we've been doing it such a long time we've noticed they're getting better and better there they're more and more um, made for the, the British market as well yeah. now they work over here so whereas when they first come on the market a few years ago they probably weren't quite man enough for the job and yeah. most most were but some yeah. you get the odd snappage etc yeah. nowadays you find that mo across the board they seem to be getting better and better yeah. maybe yeah. that's just modern and and and, and and forgiving you don't have to be a you know a super technician at the castle you know, you no you know, don't you know. no that, that's why they've really taken yeah. off i think they they help people we're not us are getting any younger yeah. um, but they help people certainly new people into yeah. angling yeah you know they help them you know right from the off yeah. they can cast a fair distance you know yeah i mean it's certainly got me back and beat me back beach fishing i always used to use ziplexes with the down yeah. down multiplier and everything like that but you had to practice and practice and practice yeah. you didn't your casting was no good so but to be fair, we all did. I mean, yeah. you know, we all used those sorts of rods, yeah. you know, and yeah. it's quite a big step, you know, if you've used that sort yeah. of uh, kit for, for many years. I used to use centuries, but Ziplex as yeah. well. And, and, you know, it's a big step to say, well, hang on, this is a completely different change from yeah. from what we used to use to what we use now. Yeah. But once, most of us, once you take that step over, yeah. not many people go back. No, and, and, and I, 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 got, I can't level wine my reels anymore, my no, thumb don't work properly, no. so. No, that's um, right. But no, it's so much easier now. And yeah. what we've noticed as well, when the first long rods came out, the reels weren't really up to scratch. No. Whereas late, that's the biggest 
yeah. leap forward, I think, in technologies is the reels are getting better and better and better now. Yeah. And they're not overly stupidly expensive. No, no. You can get no. some really good stuff for yeah. a moderately decent price. Yeah. And that's that's the thing that really put people off years ago. Yeah. Whereas now the the modern reels they're so yeah. good. Um, and they really go hand in hand with the Conti rod, so you know it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a package. Really. And, and of course, also the, uh, the, the the braid lines as well. Exactly. So using uh, using yeah. uh, the, the fixed balls and those you use the braid lines, yeah. which again is another massive yeah. plus for the whole. So it's a whole package, really. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not only is it the lightweight rods yeah. that cast further, but the reels Jordy use they've got better and better. Yeah. And then, the, and then the lighter lines you can use on yeah, them, so yeah. it sort of ticks all the boxes. Really. I mean, I don't know if people do, but I would be very nervous about um, beach casting a multiplier with braid line on. Well, yeah, I mean, it does work. I mean, yeah. especially now that you've got the, um, obviously, and have done for many years, the yeah. uh, mag brake wheels. Yeah. But the only problem is, is with braid, if you get a snap off, and occasionally you do when you're yeah. when you cast on a fixed ball, yeah. it only ever snaps at the leader knot. Yeah. So you just yeah. tiny leader on and off you go. Yeah. The problem with the multipliers, if you do get a problem, yeah. it snaps at the reel. Yeah. In which case you could just do the yeah. goods worth of braid for yeah. one cast. Yeah. And that's you know, if, if you do yeah. get a problem, yeah. it's gonna cost you and, and you've got to change your reel. Yeah. Whereas the yeah. beauty in the fixed ball, you just tiny leader on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know I've had that experience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I use my I use braid on a on a multiplier off the boat all the time yeah all the time but you're not no. but not also bit. because of the fact that we're using i mean some of the braids we use are like 0 0.17 yeah 0 0.2 0 0.17 yeah. where you put that on a multiplier you know it, you're on a bit, a bit of a wing and a prayer for it not to not to fluff up that's a yeah. very fine line to yeah, put yeah, on yeah, it. and yeah. if, you, if you get away with it but if you don't then it's it's cost you a smaller braid so yeah it doesn't really lend itself to multiplies as much, not for yeah. beach casting anyway. I, I tell you what I have been trying, I've been trying I've been using braid shot leader now actually. I quite have like you? That. Uh, quite like see that. I've got no, I am not a great lover of that. Right. <laughs> I've got I mean I know yeah. people that use it like yeah. it. I don't like it for one reason and I'll tell you the Go reason on. I don't like it. And that is um, I feel it puts too much pressure on the rig that you're using because there is no give in the leader at all. So yeah. every bit of that Casting pressure yeah, I suppose it's is on transferred the into your rig. Now, if you tie your own rigs up, yeah, and you're happy and you tie them, you might tie them up with, say, a higher yeah. weighted. In which case, fine, you know yeah. your knots, etc. My only concern is for people that may want to get an off-the-shelf yeah. rig or something. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to use a braided shop leader. Yeah. I just find it the whole of the power that cast is then yeah. transferred. There is no stretch apart from in yeah. that rig, and that's puts a to me. A huge amount of pressure on, on yeah. those knots, etc., yeah. which which worries me. Right, um, and and it's okay. not for me. But no, I know sense. I know people that use it and, yeah. and seem to get on with it. But I mean, I, 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 me I used tape the leaders for a while. But what I found was the same sort of idea yeah. is you're putting an immense bit of pressure on that first part of the tapered leader because yeah. that's the stretchiest part of the whole yeah. thing. And so when you're whacking it out, that's the bit that parts. <laughs> Well, it, sh it shouldn't be parting, really. Yeah. I mean, if it is, uh, yeah. gauge it up. I mean, yeah, you yeah, might yeah. find that, you know, if you're putting that much power yeah. in and you yeah. are getting it, then, then I yeah. mean, we do shot leaders, we do 50, uh, 15 to 50, 15 to 60, 17 to, to 70. Yeah. So you might need to go up one. Well, uh, I, 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 have, I have now got the upper ones. I was yeah. using 15 to 50. Yeah, you I might think. And um, it wasn't so much on the cast, but also if, we, if you hook in, it's that's the place it parts, you know, because, because you... You imagine that you've got a whole line that doesn't stretch. Yes. Then you've got the the furthest end of the of the shot lid, which isn't going to stretch much because it's fifty pound. But then you've got a bit of fifteen pound line in the middle of that, right. which which is going to stretch and, yeah. and snap out. Well, uh, that was just my experience. And well, you're snapping at the knot though. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I mean, I must admit, I find that with the braid and that, I yeah. very rarely get snap offs pulling oh. out. Um, unless I'm not hung up completely, yeah. but then if you're yeah. hung up completely, it's got to break somewhere. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you want it to break yeah. at the weakest yeah. point. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but no, so um, I, I, yeah, I mean, all I would say is if you're if you find on the cast you're snapping, um, then don't definitely gauge up your yeah. gauge up your shot leader. Right. Yeah. Okay, mate. Right. Well, thanks very much, Glenn. That's all right. No worries. Yeah. Cost me. And uh, see you again. Yeah. So here we go, Tony's Tackle Shop on Seaside Eastbourne. Uh, another Ladin's Cave of fishing tackle and knowledge. Uh, looks like Tony's not here today. Uh, hello mate. 
Okay, right. Um, I've got some footage of Tony, but unfortunately I didn't get him talking. So again, another another great Aladdin's cave of knowledge and equipment, uh, fishing rods. Um, yeah, he's always got stuff in here. Tony's always got stuff, and he's always got some sort of a deal on. Uh, I know that normally I walk in here and walk out of a fishing rod. I've not got my credit card as I say, for that very reason. Um, yeah, so fresh bait. Always, always fresh bait. Um, cast intuition. Um, prices and bait. Um, you got black lugging today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, everyone's struggling. Everyone's struggling. So you got rag as well. Alright, oh, okay, fantastic. Alright, so.